I don't, I don't mind as long as this one is, it's, it's, it's not, it's not, it's just yeah, a discussion, it's just, discussion, I just yeah. want to, want film, I yeah. need somebody, I need I somebody who studied yeah. the Salafi Aqidah yeah. to have a chat with. Yeah, but are you coming to a sincere person? I'm, I'm, for one to say he is sincere is not sincere. That's true, but you come and generally speaking to ask questions. I just, I, I just want an explanation of certain things. Because certain okay. Okay, go on. Because certain people that come to the park, they claim to be upon the Aqidah of the Salaf Salih, but they're not. Right? And uh, from, from my understanding, I know that uh, the, the group that you adhere to, SPUBs, the people there who, who claim to be upon Salafia, so it's best to ask the people who do claim to be upon Salafia to find the answers, correct? Okay, but are you, as I mentioned, asking to learn or asking just for the sake of debating? It's not debating. It's okay, just so asking, no, go on. And, and uh, let me clarify something. Yeah. People that are SPUBs, by the way, SPUBs is uh, brothers in Birmingham, Salafi publication, okay? They are Muslim brothers, of course. He's a Muslim, yeah, he's a Muslim. So, uh, so, so now you just ask some questions, no problem. So these brothers, we are all together following the Salaf. But I'm not part of Salafi publication, because they have their own, uh, quote-unquote, maybe we can refer to as organization. It's an organization. But, you know, meaning that they have their own, uh, what they call it, their own shura. I'm from that Sunnah. They have their own shura and everything. But in Aqidah Minaj, we are together. Okay, go on. So... When, when the question is posed upon the sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for example, the, the attribute that Allah has a hand, yeah. for example, in the Salafi creed, mm. the ma'na of yet is known, right? The ma'na, yeah. Okay, what is the ma'na then? Okay, the hand, first of all, before we start this discussion, we have to lay down foundation. Okay. No it's not just say, okay. Inshallah. First of all, that we, we do not understand about Allah better than himself. And we do not understand about Allah better than the Messenger of Allah So we are a Muslims. If we are a Muslim, we have to submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the way He wants us to submit to Him. Okay? Allah revealed the Quran Arabic language. Okay? The origin of the Arabic language or the us of any language is a dahir, is the apparent meaning. Mm -hmm. Okay? And the dahir, there's two types of dahir. Mm -hmm. There is dahir tarkibi or dahir mufrad. Dahir tarkibi meaning. For example, Dahir Tarkibi when uh, the context will explain the meaning of the word, okay? And Dahir Mufrad when the word, by, the word by itself can be understood easily, yeah? So, uh, that's as soon as it's clear that we affirm what Allah affirmed for Himself and what the Messenger of Allah affirmed for Allah without liking Allah to His creation, without changing the meaning, without resembling Allah, uh, without uh, uh, distorting the meaning, Likewise, without saying how. The kafir. The kafir, because how belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah never told us. In order for us to know how, we have to know the essence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, okay? Yes. Now, when you say the meaning of the hand, the hand meaning to hold, to, uh, I'm not saying like that with my hand, but no. to hold, to, to, that's one of the meanings of the hands, of course. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned. So, 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 what I want from you, Shamsi, yeah. is just to know. Yeah. The, the, the ulama like Sheikh Ibn Taymin, Bin Baz, Al Albani, they yeah. say the ma'na is known. We affirm the ma'na, yeah, which is not the kafir. Sheikh Ibn said to, the hands mean to hold. For example, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Ma qadarullah haqqa qadrih, wal ardu jami'an qabdatu, yawm al qiyamah, wal samawatu matuwiyatun bi yameenihi, subhanahu wa ta'ala amma yushrikun. Yes, but without resembling to Allah. So, so the ma'na of uh, yet. Mm. According to the, the, the uh, language, the, no, 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 the language, the language. So, the, so what is the manner that is affirmed? That's what the I'm asking. Hand. The literal hand, the literal, literal, literal hand. hand. Literal yeah, hand. not the hand, not the hand that I creation. I know, I understand. The hand that yes, you, you grab with, you. yes. You. The hand, oh no, yeah. Thank you, thank you. This is yeah. why I appreciate because yes. the likes of Ali Dawi doesn't affirm it. Because no, no, Ali Dawi don't ask him. Yes, you I, ask I, him about boxing. I know, I know. That's yeah. why I was. Ali Dawi was a prisoner here. I've been waiting for you. Inshallah, if you are sincere, I'm going to answer. So if we delve deeper into the manner, so you've confirmed this apparent meaning, which is we all know and understand, is a hand, which is basically a limb in English language, right? No, we don't say limp. No. But what? No, no, we don't. No, 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 no. We don't use the term limp. This a'za because the limp means adu, a'za. We don't use this term. Okay. First of all, this term we don't use it. This term is not being used in the Quran. It's not being used in the Sunnah because the limp doesn't mean hand. Limp means adu. Okay, a'za. You have uh, Asab, all of that, we do not use it. Yeah. Now, what we brought before, uh, what's your name? Yusuf. Yusuf. Before we have to move on, you do you affirm what Allah affirmed for himself? Of course. Okay. So when Allah said that he created Iblis with his hand, what does it mean to you? 
I don't, I, I make the food al man, I kaif. I don't know exactly, I don't know the kaifi and I don't know the man. I just accept it. If Allah says it, Allah says so it. So therefore Allah is, Allah, Allah in the Quran said, Kitabun anzannahu ilayka mubarakun liyash, liyadabbaru ayatihi wa liyatadhakkara ul albab. When Allah reviewed this book, Yusuf, Allah not revealed it just uh, as, 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 as uh, just to follow without know. You have to understand the meaning and reflect upon it. Mm. Because when Allah mentioned about himself, for us to reflect upon the meaning that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, how powerful in the stand subhanahu wa ta'ala. So now, when you say that, okay, I don't not uh, affirm the meaning, so are you saying Allah revealed the Quran in a way people can understand? When Allah said to reflect upon the Quran? Of course, but it's contextualized in the Arabic that was spoken at the time, right? Because the Fusha that was spoken then, nowadays the Fusha is not exactly the same, right? Just like many scholars relied upon no, but still exists. Jahliya poetry, right? Because the Arabic that they understood, just like we have different Qira'at, right? No, but the Arabic still exists. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. of course. No, but, my, 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 no, 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 no so you said, no, my point, sorry. My point that Allah, when he allowed the Quran, when he said for us to reflect upon it, that commandment was it for back then or for the old Muslims? Okay, so when Allah referred to, the, to reflect upon the book, was it to reflect in some book or the whole book? Obviously the whole book. So what Allah is going to reveal some verses which we cannot understand the meaning of it. But there are verses that we both agree upon that are from the Mutashabihat, right? Yeah, but Allah, what he said about the Mutashabihat? Tell me what he said. Allah says, And what is the way of al -im? They refer the mutashabih to declare, okay? And there's two types of mutashabih. There's mutashabih mean unclear, there's mutashabih mean resembles one another, mm -hmm. okay? So there's two types, okay? So my point here is that the Quran, the foundation and the teaching, Allah will not review the verse without understanding the meaning. Mutashabih mean, as uh, the scholars Ibn Abbas said, the Quran, there is some verse, everyone can understand it. Mm -hmm. And there are some verses, the only scholars can understand it. Mm -hmm. However, no one, should say there is verse no one understand it. Mm -hmm. There is every verse in the Quran. If you don't understand it, there's someone else out there understand it. So my point to Yusuf, when Allah revealed the Quran and He command me and you and all of us to reflect upon it, He will not ask to reflect upon something we don't understand the meaning of it. What about Alif Lam Mim? Okay, that's true. Good, good points. Alif Lam Mim. When you read the context, every time Allah Allah mentioned the huruf al muqatta'a, He will mention ذلك الكتاب لا رب فيه صاد والقرآن الذكر. Qaf, wal Quran al Majid. If you go to Tafsir ibn Abi Hatim, and the scholars mentioned that the strongest opinion, which is authentic, that when the Arab pagans are pretending they don't understand the Quran anymore, mm -hmm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showing them the huruf al muqatta'a to show them this Quran is being reviewed in the language that you are utilizing and you speak. Mm -hmm. When the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam challenged them to bring something like it, they start pretending they don't understand the Quran. Mm -hmm. So Allah said, Alif Lam Mim. Meaning this Alif Lam Mim is the Arabic language that you use to speak. Mm -hmm. So the Alif Lam Mim will understand what is, what is the purpose behind it to be there. Mm -hmm. Okay? The purpose but the actual meaning we don't know. It's a letters. It's only with no, it's, it's a letters. So it's huruf. just believe it's just normal huruf and not For, uh, There's a reason. Just say, look, if this, you, Th you, that's why you read okay. the context. So okay. the context okay. you understand the meaning. a very interesting position. Yeah, yeah. I've never heard that. Before. It's written Abi Hatim. I've never yeah. heard of yeah. that position. So before. my point here again, uh -huh. Yusuf, that when Allah tells us to reflect upon this Quran, uh -huh. yeah? This Quran, Allah will not tell. Because why? You have to understand, Yusuf, Allah bless you, yeah? We're not more uh, jealous and more zeal to learn about the Quran more than the companions. Do you agree? Obviously, the, the, the companions are obviously on a different level to us. It's no, but do you agree with that? Do you agree with that? Agree to what? Say to do, them, do you agree that we are not, no one after the companions had more zeal to learn about the Quran? Okay. So the companions, they used to ask verses. about. For example, when the verse was revealed about, um, about uh, uh, those who mix dhulm, the ayah. They ask because they didn't understand the dhulm. They said, oh, message of Allah. Which one of us never wronged himself? Mm. He said, no, the dhulm here is not making a mistake or something. No, the dhulm here is shirk. As Allah said about Luqman, he said, inna shirk la dhulmun azim. So, uh, so the, they would have asked without any doubt mm. about the meaning. You yeah, understand? Huh? Yeah, yes, alunaka, yes, alunaka, see. Mm. So the fact the companions never ask about it, therefore they understood the meaning. Because Allah will not tell us to reflect upon a book without understanding the meaning. So going deeper, brother Yusuf, that was one of the reasons that caused people to deviate. Mm. 
going too deep. Okay, it has a part. Is it a part? Is it this? Is that? We leave it. Look, Allah knows about Himself, mm -hmm. and the Messenger of Allah knows about Allah better than anyone else. Mm -hmm. And what we say, Allah tajjuduli ma khalaq to be a day. A shi'ra they say power. Is that true? Some shi'ra hold this position. A shi'ra, a shi'ra. Some a shi'ra hold this position. It depends what, what. Obviously, there's the early a shi'ra and there's the later one. Yeah, but I'm saying, actually speaking, they said the power. Okay. Yeah, there is that position. Yeah, they said that's a position. Yeah, but this it cannot be used. Why, Yusuf? Because Allah created everyone with His power. Allah created Iblis with his power. Naam? Allah created mankind with his mashia and his qudra. Naam? Mm -hmm. So Iblis could have said... However, I'm not here to, I'm not here to defend Ta'wil. I'm not here no, 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 to... No, 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 I'm just explaining to you. No, no, sorry, sorry. You, so I'm explaining to you, look to our, our understanding, our aqidah. I understand. How I clear? Understand. understand. But what I mean, so here's what, what I'm going to ask you now then. So if you accept the literal meaning as you take it, what is dahir from the ayah, right? Yeah. That Allah has hands. So you believe that these hands are unlike any of the creation, but we affirm that Allah has hands. Yeah. Two right hands. So now there's a hadith, yes, two, there are two right hands, uh -huh. but the scholars mentioned, read the context of the hadith. And then, the, then with... No, no, wait, wait, wait. has one eye. No, no, wait, 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 Allah wait. Two wait, Yusuf. Uh -huh. the, the two right hands, even the, uh, one of the major scholars of our time, Sheikh Salah al-Sheikh, Malah Puzav, he mentioned, he said, if you read the hadith, you understand the context. Mm -hmm. The hadith... Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam from the Arab, that's why it's very, uh, very important to understand the, the Arabic uh, culture and the Arabic language and also the context behind it. Sometimes the context can be in the Quran or the Sunnah or the historical context or the culture context. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, Arab, the Arabs used to believe the left hand is not blessed. Naam, and the, the only the right hand is blessed. So, right so when Allah said yeah. he has two hands, then Allah said two right hands mean both of them are what? Blessed. Blessed. I understand. Okay. I understand. This so this ta'wil, because we, sorry, mm. we make ta'wil, mm. but which ta'wil? Ta'wil correct, ta'wil that is correct. Mm. Because why? Mm. So we make ta'wil, because there's different types of ta'wil, that's ta'wil mean the, the, the meaning of it and the ta'wil which is the outcome, okay? So, run, so, the, to affirm that the one of the sifat of Allah is that Allah runs. Oh, the, again, you see the hadith now, you go to the context, okay? Mm -hmm. So, what is the context of the hadith? My, you want to know what huh? I understand? Yeah, you yeah, see yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. That. That's why, this, what if when I started, yeah. I made the principles. Yeah. There is a dahir al mufrad and dahir al tarkibi. Mm -hmm. So, that's why some people, a shi'ra, they say, you self is you claim you don't make ta'wil, but you do make ta'wil. We make ta'wil that which is called the context. Mm. So the hadith is speaking about when you make tawbah. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Allah speaking about the tawbah. Mm -hmm. Allah speaking about uh, uh, the nawafil and the hands and all of that. Mm -hmm. So not logically Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even some of them, they mention that in the way before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mm -hmm. Because you said, how do like this? No. Because how do we understand the meaning? But the kaifiyah. The kaifiyah. But I follow what Sheikh said. He said uh -huh. the meaning of a tawbah. So how, how do you then apply this usul? But to be honest, you, uh, to the uh, uh, ayah about yadain, how do you know that the, con the context there, when you're making the, con is the hands. Ta based on contextualism, yeah. how do you know that there, there is the hands. spots you have to uh, affirm the matter to be a literal hand? Uh, that's a good point. Why? Because Iblis, if because uh, the hands, they, the only other meaning of hands that in Arabic language, which is the uh, shi'a uh, shi uh, to use is the quwa. There's, no, there's yeah. 27 meanings. No, but the, I, I, I'm saying, no, no, I'm saying the shi'a uh, to use is the quwa. Uh -huh. That's the one they use, okay? Not all of them use, uh, have But uh, generally speaking, language. give me another one who says from the uh, early shi'a. There's 27 possible. No, give me from the early shi'a who said the different than quwa. Bayhaqi didn't give it to that ta'wil. Bayhaqi to be not a shi'a. He was affected by his shi'a to begin with. He was uh, just slightly affected. No, it, it was affected because you know the story of Bayhaqi was affected because when you see that Imam Dal Qutni kissing the head of, uh, what's his name? Um, Al Baqalani, ah. and he was a student, and he went and studied under him, and he was affected. Ah. Yes, okay. My point here, Yusuf, that if Allah meant to Iblis, why don't you prostrate to, Ibl uh, to Iblis, uh, to Adam, because I've created him with my power? Allah is mentioning something about Adam, has bihi, specific to him. But we know Allah created everyone with his uwa. So here, clearly, the hands mean Allah created with his own hand. Likewise, the hadith of the Nabi alayhi salatu was salam. So, little so, hands. The way befit Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So but they don't, we don't know how they look, we don't know the cave, but we have Do you know, do you know Allah's essence? Do you know how Allah's uh, essence look? 
I don't know. Why would I know how Allah's hands look if I haven't met Allah? That's what I'm saying. So why you are... The okay, wait, 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 wait. No, wait, wait. It's just you, to, to, for your aqidah to be correct, you have to affirm that Allah has two literal hands or just one literal hand. And no, uh, no, no. And, uh, no. and uh, I believe about it. two right hands is just a contextualized meaning, blessed As a, uh, Yusuf, okay, I can see the now is getting 22. Uh, my point was clear. That when we affirm Allah has a hand, yeah. yes, a real hand. The way befit his majesty okay. subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh -huh. Okay. Now let me ask you this question. Do you believe Allah is alive? Allah has a life. Do you believe Allah is alive? Alive. Yeah. yeah I mean, hey. That's one of his names. Uh, hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you hey? My my the way I'm alive is completely different to the Thank way Thank you very I'm much. Alive. The way Allah has a hands and has a, this do you are different than us. However, however, there's one thing here that you mentioned. No, but brother, like, no, no, comparing, Yusuf, Yusuf. No, no, Yusuf, Yusuf. The life of creation to be the original basis to be the same as Allah's, but it's. No, I didn't say that. No, no, I'm saying the asma. You are struggling. What does it mean, hay? The, the, the literal meaning is living. Living. Mm. What does it mean, Allah, hay? Allah is the living. Do you take it literal? But however, for you, for no, you take it in the English language when you. I'm not speaking English. You talk about Arabic. Hey, 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 hey. Allah said, okay. Allah. So how would you translate hey into English? No, wait, 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 wait. Before Allah mentioned that, uh, for, I, I'll give you another one, which is mm. Allah said about the insan, Allah affirmed for himself that he's semi and basir. Yeah, okay? Yeah. So both of them. That's Allah here. Just told you he does. He does. Does human hears? Not in the same way as Allah. No, no. What, what, what is the meaning of hearing? Conceiving uh, the, the voices. To, not, not just voices. To be able to hear sound. Yeah. Because vo uh, uh, voices too. Okay. Voices too uh, vague. Okay. No problem. You hear something. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To hear something. Okay. So that applies to Allah as well. Allah can hear. Yes. Oh, okay. That applies to human as well. Not in the same way, but yes, uh, we, can hear, we can hear and Allah can hear. But, but the hearing of the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is nothing like our hearing. It's perfect. I understand, Why? Because I understand what understand saying. So, brother Yusuf, no, no, Yusuf, 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 Yusuf. Yeah, I Yusuf. Brother Yusuf, easy, look. Because, I, 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 to be honest, I'm going to leave you with the principles. Easy, look how we Salaf is. We don't go contradict ourselves. Easy. Allah, he mentioned that about the insan Sami and Basira. He mentioned about himself, is Sami and Basir. You take both of them literal, but you still say they're not the same. So us taking the hands literal doesn't not contradict, is not the same as the human beings. So that's my point, and I hope that is clear. I have to go, inshallah. You want to go, okay. Yeah, inshallah. Okay, okay, next time we inshallah ta'ala. Uh, 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 um, what was I going to say? Which, uh, can I give you a website to read? Uh, Ashari.com, huh? Yes, Abu Iyad. <laughs> Read it uh, so you are, as for you coming to ask questions, so if you, just if I knew you read it, خلاص, خلاص, الحمد لله, الحمد لله, thank you. Alright, take care, Yusuf. Okay, we ask us to guide us. Okay, all of us.